Good morning everybody. Um, it's a bit of a rainy morning this morning here in Ireland. Um, very grey. Very, very grey May Day. Um, but we shall pack it up, shan't we, with a little bit of crafting. Why not? Um, thank you so, so much for joining me this morning. Um, my name's Tanya and the channel's name is Scallion Hill Crafts. So... Uh, let's get on. I'm going to make a little card for a new baby that is due very soon. I have made a little blanket, I've crocheted this, for um, grandparents that are friends of ours. Um, and what I want to do is make a little card to go with it. Simple as that. Now this is a cracking little 3D embossing folder. Um, as you can see, it's a Sizzix. And let me make sure I, I, I've put a teeth so that I know I have my Centigo cardstock in the right way up. Um, this is just an ordinary embossing folder. It's not a 3D. So I'm just removing the adaptive plate. So I have my standard plate, which is rather grubby looking, I have to say. My base plate, my sandwich and my top plate. And you don't need to um, spray water. Um, if it's just a 2D or whatever that is, I'm not sure. If it's an ordinary embossing folder um, rather than a 3D embossing folder. If you're using a 3D embossing folder, you should spritz your cardstock first with a little drop of water. If it's just, if it's just a standard one, um, you're fine. Now, roughly what size do I want that? Probably there. Now, I'll come back to that. Isn't that pretty? Unfortunately, they've discontinued this one as far as I know. I was very, very fortunate. Um, I purchased a load of, um, well, it was a lady's stash on eBay. And this, I didn't purchase it for this. I didn't actually really take much note of this. It was for dyes that she had. She had some gorgeous Sizzix memory box and poppy stamps dyes on it. And I thought, oh, hey, ho, I can wouldn't mind those so I put a little bit in and one um, must have been a slow day on eBay I can tell you because it wasn't very much and I got this in it and I have used it for every single card a new baby card that I've made ever since and I am very very partial to this little gummy a pan cradle or bassinet and it's gorgeous little canopy isn't that cute now before you rush out to look for this on Gummy Pan, you won't get it. It was a limited edition, unfortunately. Um, it is such a cutie, but I, f I feel a bit bad using it. Um, but I wanted to use it. Sorry, I'm, I'm chat chattering away because I want to get this cut. Um, where was I? Yes. Um, it came, oops a daisy, it jumped. It came in um, a gummy a pan advent calendar. And you all know that I'm on a self-imposed financial diet this month because I had some frighteningly big bills to pay, um, as we all do, unfortunately, and that curtails the craft room spend. Um, but my, I, I'm, got, I'm getting to the stage that if I buy, I don't know why I'm running that through so many times. It's a gummy a pan dye and it doesn't need it. Um, where was I? Yes, blethering as usual. Um, yes, I'm on a, a financial diet, as they say. Come out, come out, you little rascal. Come on. Oh, that's you, sweetheart. There you go. Good job. Good job. Now, one more to cut because I'm going to stack these to give it a little bit more dimension. So, got me a pan advent calendar. And financial diets do not go together because it costs. The one I want is the little bit extra one. Um, and what that means is you, instead of it finishing um, at Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or whatever, the way most um, advent calendars do, it goes on to the 31st of December. And every day for the month of December that you wake up, you have a beautiful little gummy pan parcel 
to open up. It's a little envelope. And inside your little envelope is a little die. And your little dies are, oh, they're so pretty. And this, this was one surprise in a little envelope. Now, how could you not love that? I think it's probably my favourite from... I've, I haven't done the calendar before. I have watched it um, on Christine Stokes' channel because she does the challenge. And dear lover, every single day over the month of December, whatever she opens up in her gummy pan calendar, she makes something with it. I don't think I'd like to put myself under that kind of pressure, to be honest with you. That one's a little bit damaged, so I'll put that one to the bottom. I must have poked it rather rather too hard with the pokey tool. Um, right, so I'm going to stack these. This is going to be my top one, bottom, middle. So what I want to do is I'm taking my sharp scissors and I'm cutting the pieces that are further away from me. So I'm keeping that one this time. Yes, I am. I'm losing the little heart on this one. And then I'm just trimming. Gummy pan make this so easy for you. Um, do you see that? Because they've already trimmed it. If you you know, there's little pieces that you just cut along. Do you see here? Here, here, if you want to be really pernickety. Now that goes on. Let's get that stuck down first. Yeah, let's get. Is everything okay there? Yep, that's all good. Let's get that stuck down first. So I just want to do it along the side, round here, like so. There we go. And this little leg or rocker on the bassinet. Now, let's get you down. Oh, it's so, so sweet. Such a pretty, pretty little thing. Now, I just want to make sure it's all married up perfectly. Get rid of that. That shouldn't be there. There we go. Perfect. Now, take these away. Keep us nice and tidy. Now, this time, I want to do exactly the same thing. But I also want to remove this little bit here. See the way that all comes apart for you. There we go. Get rid of those. And I'm just going to stick that down there. Very simple. Very straightforward. But it just gives it so much more dimension and life. Um, and it makes it jump out at you on the card. Um, and I, I must admit, dimensional stacking is one of my favourite things to make a card just that little bit more special. What have I done there? Ah, yes. Now let me see. I don't want that one to fall out. That's better. That's better. Now... Let's see. Have I too many there? I think I have, actually. I'm going to poke those right out. And then I've accidentally left one of those in. So what I want to do is put one back in. Like so. There we go. Come on, back in you go. And I'm going to stick it on with a little bit of sticky tape. Um, that's an easy fix. Come on, a little titchy tiny piece of sticky tape. There we go. And that holds it in place for me. All right, now. Right, what I am doing is I'm using my standard square card, which I think is roughly about five and a quarter by five and a quarter. I've cut a panel with my um, square nesting die and then I have cut a little circular panel out as well. Do you see that? So I put them both, I put them both on like so. Make sure they're equidistant apart and run them through the machine. And hey ho, you have your little 
frame. It's as simple as that. Now what I'm going to do is I pop this in behind it. I'm going to lift this up on a foam tape like so. I have my little bassinet here, I think, or oh, here. Yeah, I like it there. I always, and then I have a little congratulations. Now it's a bit big, isn't it? I have to put it up there. Now, if I put it up there, I need to put my bassinet here, I think. I really could do it the other way around. Yeah, I'm happy with that, I think. Let me see. I've cut one of these out because I need to stack these as well. If I put it, it is awfully big, isn't it? For such a small card. That looks okay, isn't it? Now, and my little bassinet. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of vellum to cut my um, canopy or curtain or whatever it is. It's not what they call them, a canopy. No, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Isn't that this? Oh, the whole hook's coming apart on me. There we go. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that so pretty? Now, do you see? And all I have to do is run a little bit of glue along the top and a little bit of glue along the bottom. Now, I see, I've seen this done on Face, not Facebook, I keep saying Facebook. I've seen this done on YouTube a couple of times. And um, so I have to admit this, that using the vellum on this was not my idea. I'd like to think I would have come up with it myself um, had I not seen it, but I did. And um, there we go. I have a funny feeling it was Christine too that I saw it on. Um, so I hope she doesn't mind me using her idea um, because she does, like I said, she does the challenge over the 31 days of December, she makes, I have one stacked here and I'm going to put that on top. Um, right, let's stop talking, Tanya, and let's get this assembled. Right, first things first, I want to glue this down. Now, here we go. I must admit, I'm a huge fan of Christine's work. Um, this she does beautiful cards and if you haven't checked her out she's a jolly good source now let me make sure I've got my baby up the right way I'm just going to centre that in the square roughly um, because there we go I'm going to oh I've got a bit of glue there how I managed to do that right there we go rub that off now what I want to do is lift this up put that to the side because I will use that and now have I run in this the same way yeah that's perfect so I want to lift this up like this there we go on foam tape so I use sticks to anything Jumbo, it's usually a jumbo row. Obviously, this is not a jumbo row. What's left is not a jumbo row because um, it's nearly finished. Now, the, the side of stock at the moment, um, you can buy it from Craft Stash UK and you can also purchase it direct on Sticks 2. And it's S T I X and then the digit, the numerical digit 2. And um, you do, uh, that's all I typed in on Google, sticks too. And um, then when I got onto the site, I typed in jumbo um, foam tape and it, up it came. Now, what I want to do is I want to put a little bit round each um, corner, if you like, so that it just continues to give me that height and doesn't sort of sink. I'm all fingers and thumbs this morning for some strange, strange reason. I must admit, I do like this little card. I've made it or something very similar to it before. Um, and I do like it a lot. And I'm going to try and do the Saturday challenge for clean and simple card making for beginners. Um, 
I think it's wings. The, the challenge is no flight this um, week. And my granddaughter wanted to make, God bless her, she wanted to make, uh, now where's my glue? She wanted to make, uh, what do you call them, a unicorn. <laughs> I thought that was really rather novel. Fair play to her. She always thinks outside the box. I love that about children. How they, they you know, they're, they're, they're just, you know, I flight, I automatically think butterflies, dragonflies, um, aeroplanes, balloons. And she comes up with unicorns. I love it. Now, what I've done is I've used um, my glue stick. Uh, that just gives me a little time when I'm placing my frame to make sure that I get it square. Is that square? Oh, I do believe. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. And there she is. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, we'll pop that down because we don't don't think we need that. I want to do my congratulations, so I need to do my least favourite thing, and I need to stack it. Right, I have my Zig two-way glue. There's a little um, pump action on this. I don't know if you can see it, but you push that down and the glue comes out um, perfectly. So before I put my little bassinet on the card, I'm going to go over this with my glue pen. This is super for anything like this because it's a nice fine nib on it. Look at that. Isn't that so easy? <laughs> this is not. For me, this is not easy. Um, I have a shake in my hand. Um, I'm going to try and place it on approximately closely enough oh that wasn't so successful was it and then what i'm going to try and do is marry it up but where is my tweezer um so i'm going to start with the n and the s please please that's pretty good do the l that's not so good i can definitely see that that's off that's a bit oops bit better this is going to be stuck by the time the zig two-way glue just takes a little bit longer to um stick so it does give you a little bit of time yeah that's pretty good so i've just my o and my c to marry up there we go pop that like that and then the o yeah i think i've by George, I think I've got it. There we go. What was that from? Pygmalion, wasn't it? Now, what way am I going to do this? This is going to go up here, like so. So, I'm going to get rid of the glue off my mat first. Because the last thing I want to do is get the card base, or back, I should say, covered in the glue. I hate that. Um, it ruins everything. Now... So let's go over it one more time. I'm going to do it with the, I have two zig pens. I have this little one which has a finer nib. It says on it, fine tip. And this one is chisel tip. So just make sure it's working. No. There we go. Let's put the lid on. And let's get you down. Now let's see. Pop you along there. Oh, that is so sweet, isn't it? There we go. Now... What I want to do is I want to set a little, um, are you clean? I want to set a little weight um, on this, but I just want to make sure it's clean first. 
just to make sure that it sticks while I get there we go now let's pop you down there I'm just going to hold that on for a second or two just to make sure it's all stuck down to give it a fair chance now there we go I think I've still got glue on that mat I do apologize but there's no point in spoiling the ship for a hapeth of tar, is there? There we go. Now, last but not least, our little bassinet. You could highlight this if you wanted with or shade it with a little bit of grey. I don't like doing it because, to me, it makes a white-on-white -white card, which is what I'm making here. I think it looks grubby. I really, really do. And I don't like it, so... That's why I haven't shaded, I haven't put any shade in. Um, it's, in it's personal preference, it's, it's as simple as that. And it's entirely up to you what you want to do. Now, let's, I don't, let me see, I want this just coming over like so. There we go. Make sure it's well stuck down. And then I've just my little canopy to go on. And all I'm going to do now, this was the trick that I saw on Christine's um, card. She put a little bit of glue along the top of the sort of frill where it gathers at the top and bottom. She placed it. Let me see now. Am I going to be able to do this? Yep, that's it there. Come on, and that's it there. Now, as we all know, you see glue. Oh, it's not it's not sticking down for me just yet. Let me I maybe just don't have enough on. Put a tad more on. There we go. It's a balancing act. Now I have to make sure I get this spot on where it was. There we go. Now I'm just gonna hold it in place. That's all I need to do. Yes, normally with your, hold on a minute, there's a dirty mark there, let me get that off, oh for goodness sakes, it's one of those days, I think I got it, <sighs> there we go, so all I'm doing is keeping this in place with my fingers, Oh, it was a little hair um, for a moment or two. There we go. That's her. She's stuck. Good job. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that such a pretty little thing? I do love it. Absolutely love it. And you see the way the, the little bassinet has that bit of dimension. Can you see? So. Have I got another mark on that? Bear with me a second. There we go. That's better. Do you know, somebody commented the other day about my... Um... Oh, that is so sweet. I love that. Absolutely love it. There we go. A very, very pretty little card. You could, of course, just put any wee bassinet on or a pram or whatever you have that doesn't look straight there I wonder is it it must be I think it's just the shape of it I think I'm being overly fussy right we'll leave it at that um you could put a pram on you could put it like I said a teddy bear you could put a set of ABC blocks which are so easy to make um Whatever you, whatever you fancy. It doesn't have to be a bassinet. But that's it. Congratulations. And then um, I'll put, I'll maybe put a little teddy bear or something inside. Um, gosh, I've got dirty marks on this everywhere this morning. Um, so there you go. A very, very simple little new baby. Congratulations card. Isn't it sweet? I do love it. Absolutely love it. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed that little white on white or monochromatic um, card. Very simple, very quick, very easy to make, even with me. Um, and that's it. Thank you 
so, so much for watching. Um, do take care. Um, if you enjoyed this, please remember to give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and joined our little crafting group, please do. Um, we would love to have you. Um, if there's anything I can help with, if you're new to card making, um, please don't hesitate to um, let me know. And for all of those people who have asked me if I would show you how I made the things in my journal um, and the journal itself, I would love to show you. So I'm going to try and do um, alternate between card and journal to show you because um, they can cross over quite quite easily on many many occasions um, and you can come up by doing one you can come up with some inspiration and ideas for the other so there you go thank you so much take care and happy crafting bye bye now